Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. If this truck looks familiar, it should. This is the one we just did rear, uh, rear shocks on. Uh, the the uh, customer told me to check the brakes on it and we did pull the wheels off and take a look at them. The back brakes are good, but the front brakes need to be replaced. So come on up front, I'm gonna show you what to do and how to get the front brakes done. We're gonna change the rotors and we're gonna change the brake pads. So uh, I already did the left side. We're gonna go over to the right side now and I'm gonna show you how to do that uh, step by step and get it, uh, get it wrapped up. You're gonna need a, a ratchet, a screwdriver, um, some brake cleaner, and probably about a 12 millimeter socket and then maybe like a 19 millimeter um, socket, uh, possibly on a, uh, on a half inch drive to break the saddle uh, mounting bracket loose. So uh, let's get up there and I'll show you how to, uh, to do it and what we're gonna do step by step. Okay, the first thing you're gonna notice Okay, the first thing you're gonna notice here is that we need to take off this, uh, this caliper right here. Okay, the first thing you're gonna notice, we have to take the caliper off. And the way we're gonna do that is there's two bolts in the back right over here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. I'll bring you in there and show you. This is actually the, uh, the caliper here. We need to take out this bolt here as well as this bolt right here. And then we're gonna remove this one. And there's also one down on the bottom down there. We're gonna take that out too, and we're gonna take everything off. Okay, so we're gonna take those two bolts out in the back right now. They were 12 millimeter. We're just gonna take those and loosen them up. Once you break them loose, you can, you can take them off by hand. Don't lose them because you're going to need to use these over again. All right, then what we're going to do is take the caliper off. Now normally you could press the caliper back in, but this one here is a little bit more difficult, so we're going to take this off the car to recess the piston back in. And the way you do that is just take it and put it up on out of the way. You take um, a tool like this that's made to do brakes like this. And you put the brake pad in here like this. And you put this other pad in there like that. And now we're gonna push that piston all the way back in. The way you do it is just put the tool in and you turn it and push the piston back in. Now, if you don't have this tool, they have lots of other different kinds that you can use that you can purchase at any parts store. So we're just gonna put a little bit of pressure on this and then we're gonna continue on this. On the back of the caliper mounting bracket, we're going to take those two big bolts out. Now, I don't, I don't use a, uh, on this one I didn't use a uh, uh, 3 8 drive. I used a half inch breaker bar to get it off because it's so tight. If you have an air gun, obviously you can use an air gun. All right, and once you break them loose, you can most of the time take them out by hand. Don't lose these, we're gonna need them again too. And then we're gonna relocate the mounting bracket off of the car. And we'll come back to this in a couple of minutes while we do more work on this. All right, we're just gonna push that piston back in the rest of the way.
sorry about that. I had to put a bucket under it. Somebody overfilled the master cylinder, and now we, uh, when we push the piston back in, it drips out. Okay, well that's pushing them back in. We're gonna take these brake pads out, like this, put it on the side. The same thing here, right? And then we're gonna change the hardware right up in here. These, you just pry them off, and we're gonna put new ones back on. Let me grab the new ones and I'll, uh, I'll show you. Okay, you just take it off like this. Take it off. Make sure you match up the clip so that's the correct clip because they do have different clips you can have. And then the way you put it on is you put the clip on like this and you push it and it snaps right in, just like that. And then we repeat the process on the other three. Sometimes they're stuck. You just need to remove them. And we'll grab the new one. Put that clip on the same way, catch the outside first, and you push it in. Make sure it's in all the way, like that. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Same thing, catch it on the outside first, like that, and you push it, and you'll feel it snap right in there, make sure it's pushed in all the way, and then we'll do the last one here, we'll grab the other one. Same way, goes on like this. And push it in. Right? Then we're just going to turn this again. Okay, then you would take out these pins, the slide pins here. You're going to keep them in the correct location that they came out of. You're going to take the uh, brake grease and you're going to lubricate the pins like this, and put them back in so you don't mix them up. Same thing here. Take this one out, lubricate it, put it back in, make sure it pushes in all the way. Then what you're going to do, every place that the brake pad touches, you put grease on. Right? Okay, and we're just going to put this on the side for a moment. And now our piston is pushed back in all the way. We can take that tool off. These are our brake pads. I'm going to put these on the side for now. Now the caliper, you never want to leave. You never want to let it hang. You will always want to suspend it with a uh, 
piece of wire or something to hold it out of the way. Take the rotor off. You have to make sure that this part right here is nice and clean and no rust on it. As you can see, this one is nice and clean. There is no rust whatsoever. We're going to put our rotor back on like this. Now, I just want to point this out. Sometimes fumbling around trying to get this back on is a pain in the rear end when you're trying to get that mounting bracket on. Just put a lug nut on there and screw it down like this. And that holds your rotor in place. Now this, I'm going to clean with some brake cleaner. We're going to do that once we finish up. Okay. Now we're just going to take this. We're going to put this over here for now, just so it's not in the way. We're going to take our mounting bracket that we previously took off. And I want to point this out. This, as you can see, is the inner brake pan. This has no disc indicator on it. I'll show you what a disc indicator is in a moment. As you can see, there's nothing on this one. So this one is the one we're going to put on the inside. All right, and it goes in just like this. Every place that you lubricate is going to slide nice and easy now, just like that. Now, you could put this on here now, or you could put it on later on in the car. I like to do it here because sometimes it's a little bit easier. Okay. Now, remember I told you about that disc indicator, right? Sorry about that. Okay, this was the disc indicator that I was telling you about and you have to make sure it's in the correct location because they're usually are usually mirror images. All right, so this is the correct one. And now we're gonna take it and put it in the bracket right here. And slide it in like that. And now we're gonna put this bracket back on the car. Just squeeze the brake pads and you can catch the, uh, the two bolts in the back. Screw them as far as you can by hand. And then we'll bring our breaker bar back in and we'll tighten up those two bolts in the back. And you want to make sure you do them both by hand first so that way they don't get, uh, uh, they don't line up once you tighten it. And then we'll just put the two bolts back in the back. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. All right. Now that we have these bolts caught in here, we screw them in by hand as far as we can. And then we'll just tighten them up. Same thing up here. Okay. 
All right, and last but not least, I'm going to clean my fingerprints off this. I cleaned this off before. Now I'm just going to clean my fingerprints off of it. And we're in good shape. All right, we can take our lug nut back off, obviously. And now I'm going to go through exactly what we had to do step by step. I'll recap the whole thing for you. All right. Okay. All right, so now we have our rotor back on. We made sure that the hub in here was clean, which it is. We put our new hardware kit in here and here. We lubricated every place that the, uh, that the brake pad is going to touch. We made sure that the bolts here and here are both tight. We put in our new our bolts back in the caliper to the mounting bracket, and we tightened them up too. We also lubricated these pins right here too, and, uh, and that's it. We're all set. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take it and step on the brake a few times and take it out for a test drive. All right, as always, thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, send me an email. I'd be more than happy to talk to anybody about anything. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.